All right, guys, so uh, Fula coming to you with another video, another commentary. So, you know, there's always something each day that happens, you know, when it comes to modern women. And it's just like sad, man. It's just like real sad to see this, you know. Um, modern women will, they'll sabotage something that's not even there that they think it's there for some reason. But this uh, happened in London, I believe. Um, you know, I feel sorry for this dude because like now the way things are set up, you have to ask yourself, okay, who's gonna want him now? You know, but let's, let's get Please, into it. That's how Thank you so much for tuning in and clicking on this video. It's the latest on trend with your girl, Biami. We got business! <laughs> and a fair years after school. A jealous woman is jailed for 14 years after scarring her boyfriend for life by pouring acid on him whilst he slept because she wrongly thought he was having an affair. Now, the, the, the more logical question would be like, okay, well, why don't you just ask him? Why don't you just go to him and ask about like the, the um, like your suspicions or, you know, why don't you just go to him and ask him, okay, well, what, what is this? Or why, why don't you go to him and just ask him the questions before doing something like this? Like, that makes no sense to me. Th this woman, you know, she jumped off the porch right away. She didn't even, like, maybe question why. I mean, you know, if you think he did cheat, why don't you just do an eye for an eye? And just go cheat with someone else. But that doesn't work these days with these modern women. A lot of these modern women are very, very violent. Okay. But luckily, the it, it worked in his favor. Because most of the time, it usually doesn't. Just to give you guys a little breakdown, she had bought um, a litre of sulfuric acid from a website to prepare for the attack. She threw it on him around 3 a.m. while he was sleeping, leaving him wounded. She then attacked him again while he was lying on a sofa already badly injured. And he said, she used to be my world and she did this to me. I can't understand it. Now, I no. The fact that she did it not once, but she did it twice. Once wasn't enough for him or for her. And she decided that she wanted to do it again. Um, You know, it begs the question, like, okay, when is enough enough? Now, granted, you know, this guy probably felt that he couldn't do any better. You know, this, you know, maybe he felt that way. But if if the warning signs are there or if she has lashed out in the past, like without getting violent, you as a man should take heed and be like, yo, you know, this chick is crazy. Like, let me let me just like leave, you know, let me leave this situation before it explodes. So I'm not like blaming him as a whole but at the same time you have to like be aware of things like this you know what i mean and on her end for her to do it more than once you know i don't know man crazy after the first attack she went to extraordinary lengths to stop him from getting medical treatment leaving him with life-changing injuries that have left him plagued by suicidal thoughts he told Damn. so she just messed up this whole man's not only did she injure him physically she in injured him mentally 
She injured him psychologically. She injured him emotionally. Okay? Now you got the man thinking about suicide. You know what I mean? Like, that's crazy. This is crazy. So it's not just limited to the United States. It's limited to all these Western countries, be it United States or be it in Europe, you know, especially in the UK. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, what is the United States? It's pretty much an offshoot of the United Kingdom. You know, who did they win their independence from? The British, right? The standard news. Um, every day I wake up, it's like the day she attacked me. It's like time has stopped. Every time there is a knock at the door, I'm scared. Someone is going to hurt me. She used to be my world. She did this to me. I can't understand it. At first, he didn't really. So now this fool has PTSD now. Realized that his girlfriend was responsible and asked her to get help before pouring holy water on his wounds. She pretended to call 999, blocked his friends from calling and cancelled a taxi that was due to take him to hospital. Wow, this woman is freaking evil. She was a evil woman. Are you serious? Um... Shoot. In terms of my experiences myself, um, you know, I've never like dealt with any crazy women who who would do such a thing. Because if I got wind that they were like this, I'm out. You know, because at the end of the day. You know, you don't want to be the effect of something, you know, when the other person is the cause of it. Basically, it usually doesn't work out in your favor. She struck again while he lay resting on the sofa with already painful wounds, pouring more acid over his face and body. He ran from the flat screaming and was helped by a passing stranger who got him medical help. Thank God for that good Samaritan. Thank God. The boyfriend who she wrongly believed was sleeping with a university classmate said she also tried to get him to drink acid from a Nike sports bottle, but he was only saved due to his distrust of tap water since his childhood in Africa. He moved. Damn. Hey. I'm telling you guys, fellow Africans, okay, I'm telling you, hey, when we leave where we come from, it may be lonely, if especially if you're by yourself, you know, but you got to hold on to your line, okay, you really do, and Yes, a Western woman may look appealing. Yes, a Western woman may be attractive. But it's not going to end up good for you. You know what I mean? I'm telling you, it's not going to work. Okay? Leave them alone. Here's a man who probably came from one of the former uh, colonies of... Um, the British, maybe like somewhere like Sierra Leone, Ghana, um, Nigeria, possibly. Hell, even Kenya. I believe Kenya at one time was controlled by the British too. But did it like, do you think he left Africa for that? Do you think he left Africa to have acid thrown on his face? Or do you think he left to try to excel? So he can like bring back those resources to his family. Because if you don't know any better, if you're in the diaspora, the thing that fuels Africa most is foreign dollars. And those foreign dollars are sent by people who are outside who are sending money to the families. And that money gets... Um, you know, in turn, spent 
put into the economy. Returned to study film, he was left with continuing mental mental trauma and permanent damage to his eyes, head, face and upper body. She was sentenced to 14 years and the judge called it a truly wicked thing to do. She was arrested after being found nearby loitering in an alleyway. She was taken into custody and later charged. The investigating officer said the victim suffered horrific and extensive injuries at the hands of this woman and has endured months of surgeries and hospital visits since the attack how sick must you be please to do this to somebody and it's not even like he was cheating like she thought he was cheating and even if she he was cheating like can you just please remove yourself from the relationship and go like why must you feel like you have to destroy someone's life first of all this is somebody who is clearly in their head because the fact that you can do that to somebody like the fact that you can first try and make him drink the thing that means that you are able to premeditate yeah she looks evil too you know but it, i'm telling you these women are becoming more um violent you know I'm, I'm letting you know that like a lot of these western women are very violent you know what i mean they'll stab you they'll um do things like that you know, if they suspect things. I've heard horrible stories. Um, shoot, just last week, um, one of my uh, close friends, he got set up by a Western woman and they unfortunately aired him out in the car. He was sitting in his car and then they just walked up and, you know, dumped on him because of a woman. You know, and mind you, he didn't even really mess with that woman like that. It wasn't even like he was like totally involved with her, but she wanted to control him and he wouldn't allow it. But there's one more thing I want to go into. And this happens. I showed you in the last video before that, that this, you know, this is an ongoing thing. This doesn't stop. You know, this is always something that they do. But let's uh, get into it. You can keep watching your hair getting thinner and thinner. You can keep looking out for those embarrassing bald spots that you try to cover up. Well, take a look. He's in your such a great dad. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not doing personal gifts either. Uh, a gift for me? Vernon, and you don't have to do that. A gift for me, Vernon, and you don't have to do that. It's not my birthday. Such a great mom. Oh, thank you. Oh. So, he said, you're such a great mom. So, I think what happened is, um, I guess he was playing the uh, stepdaddy role. It's heavy. Ooh, I'm excited. I love it. What is it? Put it up. Oh my god, you are such an amazing man, I tell you. Open that man. It's a Valentine's Day all over again. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, it's that kind of night, ain't it? My favorite wine? You're gonna love it. It goes with the gifts. Ooh, peanut noir. Mwah. I can't decide. I wonder why she didn't even catch, like, she didn't even catch what was going on at the time. You can tell by the tone of his voice, like, he ain't. He ain't, um, like, really thrilled. But, again, you know, a lot of these women are driven off emotion. You know, they're not driven off of, like, logical things. But let's continue. Thomas, thank you, baby. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm excited. It better be the necklace I wanted. You know I've been wanting that for a long time. Another bag. You're so tricky, I tell you. Babe, really? Another bag? <laughs> I can't wait you in your foolishness. <laughs> oh my god. You are one silly man, I tell you. <laughs> oh my god, what is this? <laughs> I like how he did it, though he, um, put in many, many bags, you know. Oh man, duct tape, really? They ran out. 
This is such an amazing rapper. Very nice. Very. An envelope? What could this be? What could this be? It's not shaking. It's not my necklace, I don't think. Let's open this up. Ooh, it feels kind of thick, okay? Hold on, it may be. Maybe. Paper? This better be a ticket to Dubai for two weeks straight round trip. Because we know I've been wanting to go to Dubai. So you can tell right off the bat she's a high maintenance um, woman talking about Dubai and stuff like that. No, granted, he may be having, um, he, he may have like good resources. He may have the money to do that for her you know, take her to Dubai or whatever the case may be. But I mean, any woman who's asking for going to Dubai, you already know what time it is. You know what I mean? You already know what you, you're going to need to do to please her, you know, at this time. Open it up. <laughs> yeah, read it. What is this? You know what it is? I just want you to know that I know the bay is not mine. She's not my daughter. You know what it is? I just want you to know that I know the bay is not mine. She's not my daughter. So probably how this played out. Probably. I don't know for sure how it played out, but probably the way it played out was that he he probably they probably took a break or something and in the process of that break like before that break they probably had sex with each other and the the thing is is that when they have sex with each other he um she probably said, oh, you're going to be a father, you know, like after the fact, like he, she, she was probably like, I have a confession for you. You're going to be a father. You know what I mean? It, I don't know how it happened behind the scenes, but probably how it happened is that they maybe were at odds with each other, slept with each other became at odds with each other again. And then she came in back in the picture and said, you're going to be a father. But at the same time, she was probably riding another carousel, you know, at the time. Why did you do this tonight out of all Why? Because I wanted you to know that I know. You heard what she asked, though? Why did you do this tonight? Out of all nights. The real question should be. Why did you finesse this man. Out of all moral. And integrity. That you would think normal people are supposed to have. You see how she like. Didn't take responsibility for her part in this. You see, you see that. Bay is not mine. I've had doubts. What so doubts? Like DNA test. The bay is not mine. She's not my daughter. Why would you do this? Okay, why would you do what you're doing? She loves you, though. Why would you do this? She's not my daughter. Why would you do this? Why would you cheat? So, this is the thing. Two people suffer. Two people suffer in this situation. He suffers because of the simple fact he's been spending resources and not just material resources, emotional resources on a kid that's not even his. Okay? That's number one. Number two... The kid probably has a bond with him, probably calls him daddy, probably does things like that. 
So if a kid calls him daddy and does things like that, then how is the mom going to tell the kid, okay, well, I got some news for you. That ain't your, that ain't your daddy. Like, how is the mom going to like, how, how is the mom going to break that down to the kid? I didn't cheat. Why would she on me? I didn't. That's proof right there. Okay. Why are you denying it? Why are you just, <laughs> wow. I didn't cheat. I didn't cheat. But the DNA test is right there. The evidence is there. DNA test. Nevaeh is not my daughter. Okay, really? Out of all days, you have three years to give this to me. Now you want to give this to me? All right. Yeah. So he invested three years into this situation. That's crazy, man. She had no problem not telling him for three years. And chances are she was going to let this thing ride until the wheels fall off. That's the crazy thing about this. You and the van got to the end of the month to get out of my house. Good. You have to do that. You have to do that. If if I were him, I would have added. Um, I would have added. Go stay at Pookie Ray Ray or Terrell's house. Don't stay at my house, you know, stay with the man who you had the baby with. Now, it looks like this guy is pretty well off looking at the house that he has and stuff like that. It looks like he's pretty good. So what I expect is that this woman was riding the cock carousel. And unfortunately, this guy who built up his resources, who got everything established, um, decided to, he probably really wanted to settle down. You know, he probably really was a good guy. But unfortunately, he was had. You're kidding, right? I'm not kidding. But you that's your daughter. your daughter had to the end of the month to get out of my house. But that's Kelly. your daughter. It's not my daughter, Kelly. Yes, it is. The paperwork says it's not my daughter. Smart man. The only downside is he didn't do it sooner. You know. As soon as he got the suspicions, he should have been doing it, you know. But let this be a lesson to you um, guys, is that the Western woman is so far gone in her corrupted, crooked ways that, as I said in many previous commentaries, she will use a child for collateral she will use a child for leverage even when that child is not yours you have to understand that okay so let this be a lesson and let this be something that maybe and you know I, I wouldn't encourage it and you know maybe some people will say I sound like crazy but i know as guys we all got needs i know as guys we all got urges but at the same time you gotta like take charge of that crap man so you don't end up in situations like this you know as i said before and this is the best way you're gonna find oh oh this is the best way you're gonna find someone is that if you have a friend or if you have even a family member who you know has is A1 and who is solid and who has your best interests at hand, then they're going to find you, they're going to find you someone, you know.
um, as I said before, you know, when when I decide to, you know, I'm not going to even lie, I drag my feet. But when I touch down back home in Africa, you know, all I have to do is go to like my uncle and be like, hey, yo, um, it's about that time. And he'll find someone and then we'll sit down with the other family and we'll decide if it's going to work or not. And then that's how it's going to be, you know. But other than that, I wouldn't recommend these dating apps. I wouldn't recommend even going on dates at this point in time. You know, I wouldn't do it if I were you. You know, um, the energy has to just be on something else, you know. You got to like, unfortunately, even me, you know, um, from being here for so long, I had to reprogram my mind. I had to keep my core values, like my core, like moral code. You know, um, nobody knows about Pulaku, but that's another video here, here nor there, you know. Uh, but I had to keep that moral code, but at the same time, I had to reprogram my mind to think how these Western women think, but not act out the way they think, you know, in order to stay steps ahead of them, you know, because they will do that. They will try to pin things on you on, on, on an, on one time, what happened was, um, and I'll end it on this note. Um, I was, uh, I, I ran into a friend. I, I ran, I ran into a friend of mine and, um, you know, he had, he was with the stripper, you know, she was in the, um, she was in, on the Avenue and she was like, um, you know, we talked, I'm talking to my friend. We were just talk, catching up on old times. So, you know, I go away and then he tells me, you know, oh, that stripper wants to, um, that stripper wants to hit it, you know? And I said, no, nah, I'm good. I just told him like, no, nah, I'm cool. Like I'll pass, you know, tell her, tell her, um, I'll pass on it. A week later after that, he tells me, you know, you dodged a bullet, bro. That chick had chlamydia. I'm like, oh, well, usually my inner eye doesn't fail me. So I'm just telling you guys, you got to refocus the, um, the energy, you know. But with that being said, I'm off to the next one. Fula signing out. Njarama.